Well, let's just go ahead and get this over with quick, shall we? Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back again with yet another DC Multiverse video, and today, I can't say that I'm stoked, but it does come courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys, so thank you very much for sending it out, because I wasn't going to go for this one. This is the brand new Batman and Spawn 2-pack. Batman vs. Spawn, straight from the DC Multiverse, based off of characters by old Todd McFarlane, and Batman is some nut in a bat suit, right? Batman and Spawn, based on comics, yada yada, on the sides. The backside shows what really should have been in the box, right? How amazing would it have been to get actual character design action figures that look like this, right? Remember the old 90s team-ups? Would have been sweet. So, I'm going to tell you this right off the bat. I'm not going to spend the next 45 minutes or whatever this video is going to be complaining. I know this is not for me. This is kind of a reboot if you think about it. My days of Spawn and Batman and all that are long gone, I have to say. But this is for the new fans. So I'm hoping that within this two-pack, people that have never experienced Spawn, never read Spawn, Batman, Batman, Spawn, War Devil, anything like that, even the new one that Capullo and McFarlane just did. I certainly hope that this two-pack opens the door for you and gets some new blood in. I sincerely do, because I have my Batmans, I have my Spawns, and I love them. But this two-pack is as far away from that as what I wanted as a collector you could possibly be. But like I said, it's not for me. But let's go ahead and get into it. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, straight from the DC multiverse, Batman vs. Spawn from McFarlane Toys. Oh hey, while I got you guys here, I'm going to be doing a sweet giveaway with the fine folks over at Melinda's Hot Sauce. I'm a huge fan of hot sauce, a lot of different hot sauces to be honest with you, but Melinda's has really been hitting the spot lately. And they came to me and they said, hey, you want to do... A giveaway and I was like heck yeah that sounds amazing so I have three sets to give away I already gave away one on my Instagram which means I have two sets left it's gonna be totally random but you have the opportunity to win a giant squeezy bottle box set right awesome hot sauce definitely try the black truffle if you've not had that one you can try for a bottled version right the extra hot original habanero Trey Magnifique, just saying. Or, if you want to be like me, and I know they do this a lot on their Instagram and social media and whatnot, the guy takes a little squeezy bottle around to different restaurants, puts it on their sauce. I may have tried doing that, in as weird as it may seem, but you can try for a mini liquid spice rack. So like I said, two sets left. I'm going to make this really easy on you. You can see all the, the food photos that I've posted recently with all the hot sauce on top. To enter, rule number one, you got to be living somewhere in the United States or have access to a mailbox in the good old US of A. And to simply enter, just leave me a comment down below. Who wins in a battle? Spawn or Batman? That's it. You don't have to go into detail. If you want to talk about hot sauce, we could do that too. But give it about a week. I'll have the two winners announced. And uh, we'll get you that hot sauce. So again, thank you to the fine folks over at Melinda's. This is awesome. I will tell you all the different hot sauces. I've tried them all. So if you have any questions, I'll definitely put you in the right direction as far as hot sauces go. And I'll put links down for Walmart and Amazon in my description as well. Thanks for using my links. Helps the channel to grow. And now we got a box set to talk about. So let's get to that. Batman and Spawn. Get a few things in the box. You get a backdrop. It is what it is, right? At this point. You do get the flat black stand. This time it has the Spawn logo on it. I don't really care for it. I wish the whole black stand was the logo. That would have been really cool. You see the DC Multiverse one? No difference, right? Same thing. You also get this really cool looking Spawn sword. I guess I could say this has shown up in the comics. Maybe? in some capacity. It has some nice paint on it. It's got a little bit of weathering to it. I like the red wrap bandage on it. That's totally cool. It looks like the cape is kind of holding it, right? And it does look good. It's an odd looking sword, but if you were wondering, yes, he does hold it. He doesn't come with any hands, even though he has trigger fingers, and I'm going to chalk that up to Warner Brothers saying, well, if it's DC Multiverse related, no guns, please. And it is a very 
gummy. I will say that. It's kind of a bummer in that sense. But at least the spawn is nice. Spawn is the highlight of this box set. He's even got the little twinges of his cape. It's a nice plastic cape. I'm going to honestly tell you, for those of you that have been waiting for a spawn figure within the Spawns universe line besides the throne spawn, here you go. Mortal Kombat people too, you know what I'm talking about. This is spawn. There you go. After all this time since the Kickstarter spawn, this is truly a spawn with a spawn cape. It's got a nice wash to it. They really went above and beyond. That's what I want to see. Now, I will tell you this. It's the exact same figure as the throne spawn. I put an aftermarket cape on mine. I think it looks pretty cool. I still like it. But I think a lot more people are going to like the rubber cape on this spawn. It just looks nice. It really does. And as you can see, whether or not you like rubber, if you want to go to eBay and grab the more cloth cape, it's up to you, right? You can't go wrong either way. On the arms, though, when you try to get them up, the cape will hinder it, of course. It's rubber. It's a big, chunky piece of rubber. And, again, this is the more modern-ish spawn. He doesn't have the more Venom shoes, which is like a point, right? All the little nuances are painted on him, so I'm definitely happy with that. At least they nailed that. The chains are what they are. Right here, though, they still did not paint the rest of the gauntlet. That is clearly Spawn's gauntlet right there. They didn't paint it. They left it black plastic. On this side, though, I'm going to say he's got a little bit of a different gauntlet thing going on. But that actually works. That's more of his Necro costume. But here, yeah, they're definitely missing paint there. Which is a total bummer because that's what I pointed out with the throne spawn. And they still did not fix that. But again, same articulation. Same exact momentum, movements, everything else. The head... It's more of that Mortal Kombat spawn. It's not my favorite. See, these are the types of things I really wish they would have updated. I mean, how cool would a batarang to the face been for this particular spawn? As an extra head portrait, right? That would have been so cool. I'm just telling you. Now, with the Batman figure, at least, he does come with some extra hands. He's got one punchy hand. He's got another batarang holding hand. And just like Batman Year 2, it's got the more detailed out gloves, which don't mesh well because the other hands don't have that detail he comes with a hilariously oversized battering let's be honest where is he putting that in his pouch but with the other hands which uh, you know give or take he does hold the battering so at least that is there but it's comedically big right come on batman himself again my high hopes is that people go, oh, look, I'm just going to take a step back. I don't care. It's Batman and Spawn. Yeah, most part, a lot of people are going to have to do that on this one because this is not for me. The ears, totally about. I love that. I love they gave him the big, giant 90s ears, right? In fact, if you cover up the lower half of the mask, it's a great head portrait, right? And then, of course, you know, once you remove your finger and then you see the mouth... <laughs> The mouth, the open mouth, whatever is happening here doesn't work. It looks like he's got punched, though, right? It's a bummer to me because I love the ears on him, right? <laughs> now, the other things that work for me, right, is the cape. The cape is fantastic. I love the big shoulder spiky things. It flows out into a giant oversized Batman cape. So from Spawn's cape to Batman's cape, it's a cape of Palooza for this box set, if I'm being honest. So they totally nailed that. We'll get to the arms in just a second. <laughs> it's coming. Now, a lot of people have been saying this is the Batman Troika suit, right? Well, they're not too far off, even though the legs have the little gauntlets to them, too. So technically, no, it's not. There's a lot of technically, no, it's not for this box set, if you catch my drift so far. So overall... Fine. It's Batman, head sculpt, everything is subjective, whatever your opinions may be. He has the old school ball joints. See how the gloves don't match? They're totally different gloves. I guess you could do two styles if you want, but it just doesn't match, and I feel like it's a cop-out. But really, right here, this... <laughs> this is the problematic piece right here. The gloves. Once again, even that Batman Hush 2-pack, we still didn't get it right. See how the spike is sticking out of the costume where the glove is not painted? That blows my mind. I just, I have no words. That's just an egregious error where it's like, okay, well, no, I would not recommend this box set alone on that because that 
how many times have we been here? How many times have we said over and over and over again, it's not for us. It looks like Batman's trying to be spooky with the hands. I don't get it. <laughs> but like I said, it's just not for me. I don't have to get it. It's for everyone else who doesn't really care. And they just see Batman and Spawn. Now, the backdrop here, which again, I really wish this was what was in the box. This is very tchotchke-ish to me. This is very loot crate. But again, I would love to have seen what I see here in the box set. No, I, I, I mean, I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, do it again. Let's do it again. Give him another chance. No, I could do Batman and Spawn on my shelf for years. Skulls on the back. And then the base, which... <laughs> I don't know what this is. At this point, it's like, come on. You're just throwing stuff in the box. It's like a base of skulls, right? But back in the day, that would have looked so good, right? So, yeah, I guess it is what it is. But, like I said, ever since the first start of Spawn, back in the 90s, I've been doing Batman vs. Spawn on my shelf. Now, these don't exactly line up. But I totally remember putting these together. Then, as time went on, you have the more articulated Spawn, which actually does fit the artwork. You have the new Nightfall Batman, which you can kind of say fits with the artwork, right? You have the NECA Batman. You have the Kickstarter Spawn. You can do Spawn versus Batman all on your own. And you've been doing it for years if you've been collecting it for years. So, no, this box set is just not a Batman versus Spawn in that sense so that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new mcfarlane toys dc multiverse batman versus spawn two pack i had such high hopes when i heard that this was rumored i was like "Ooh, that's gonna be a good one and then it was like the complete opposite i was like what is this no come on now this is one of those blurry potato photos people are trying to have a laugh with me no, man, that would have been so cool to have a shoelace head with a battering, removable battering. How awesome would that have been? Just any extra heads, have it be Capullo's artwork, have it be McFarlane's artwork. You could have done anything, really. Anything would have been cooler than this. And just before we go, if you're still interested in entering the Melinda's Hot Sauce giveaway, just comment down below. And like I said, I'll give about a week and uh, I'll announce the winners. And again, thank you to McFarlane Toys for setting this box set out for the purposes of this video. You've heard my thoughts, now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Batman versus Spawn. It just kinda changed the mood. What's your favorite memory of reading those old comic books, right? How fun was that back in the day? The stories were what they were, but it was still a lot of fun, right? So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, I'm sure a true Batman versus Spawn 2-pack exists somewhere out there, but we've waited this long, and I guess we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.